This is Kim Rowe with For the Nest. I hope you enjoy this video of the specimens mold from IOD and their 2024 spring release. I found these frames on Marketplace which were perfect for these small beetle molds. The color I used here is called Eggplant by Paint Couture. I used a blue ice brush to get in all the little nooks and crannies of this frame. So here I'm using the color Pitch Black by Paint Couture and again using a blue ice brush stippling in the paint into all the nooks and crannies, also painting the glass as my base for these fun molds. Once this was dry, I dry brushed with some eggplant paint over top of the black paint just to give it some depth. On this one, I'm going to paint the glass itself with a white farm linen color paint as a background for my decoupage paper that I will be adding to this one. When using decoupage, it works best to have a white background. It will make the paper just show up much better. While letting the paint dry, I poured resin into the molds and as it dried in about 10 minutes, I was then able to pop them out and you can see the amazing castings that they make. The details are incredible in these little bugs. So here I'm going to decoupage using a decoupage medium by Paint Couture. I'm going to take the small piece of paper that I'm going to be using and I just fit it into the frame after the paint has dried and using my nail I'm just making a little scoring around the edge. This doesn't have to be perfect but just to give me an idea of where to cut the paper and then adding the decoupage medium I will adhere this paper onto the white paint that has been dried. dry for a little bit and now I'm just going to use the same medium over top just to seal the paper onto the frame. There was a slight area on the edge that did not cover the white paint but I kind of liked how I was just adding a little black around the edge with the tip of this brush to just almost frame out the edge of the paper. Also dry brushed a little bit of that black over top of the eggplant color and now I'll be adding the mold to the center. Using a stick from the transfers I'll be adding tight bond glue to the edges of this mold just spreading it across the entire surface making sure you get the edges good and then I will be adhering it over top of the decoupage paper. You could also paint this ahead of time, which I did not do, but because of using the resin, it just it's, it would have been easier to probably paint it ahead of time, but I got excited and just put these molds right onto the frames or the glass itself. But using a small brush, it's not hard to, to paint while they're in place. And one other thing you might want to look at is when you put your mold on, make sure you have it in the right direction. I had to switch this quickly, but not a big deal. The glue does dry clear. So here I'm adding the other beetles into their place and getting them set up to paint. So this is pale gold. It's a luxe metallic paint by Paint Couture and I'm using a fine tipped brush just to get 
the first coat of paint onto the casting. This covered really well. I think I ended up using a second coat in just a few areas, but I love the way that this color turned out on these molds. Using the same gold on this casting, I also started with this color. I ended up using some other metallic colors on this little guy, but um, just started with the base of pale gold. I also took a very rough, tiny little chip brush that had a very rough edge and got some of that pale gold on there and offloaded it onto my cardboard and then dry brushed over the details of this frame. It's amazing how a little bit of gold can really highlight the details on these frames. Again, I got these on Marketplace, but you could use the small mold frame from IOD and get a very similar look. It would be a lot of fun. Now what I'm doing is using the black. I'm gonna paint over one of the beetles with just the black. I thought, let me try the opposite where I'm going to paint the beetle black and then dry brush over it instead of painting gold and then using a black glaze like I will soon on the other one. So now I'm letting, once that paint is dry on the black beetle, I am going to use a rough chip brush to just dry brush lightly that same pale gold over top of the, the casting as well as the intricacy of the frame. And it was a fun way to kind of do the opposite effect where I started with black and then gold over top. So now after the gold paint has dried on the first beetle, I am going to be using a raven black glaze and again stippling it in, but this time I'm not too worried about making it being really careful about the edges because I'm wiping it back and I just used a um, paper towel on this and just wiped back the edges and all around where I added the glaze but it's sticking into all the details of this mold and then taking a really fine small little brush I'm just moving some of that glaze out of the details and then I will again take my paper towel and just wipe some of that back the ending result was amazing and the glaze really just highlighted the casting on that mold beetle I did the same glaze but beforehand I actually took some of the Amazon Lux metallic paint and lightly colored in some of the little details on this beetle and so the green actually does show through a little bit after I glazed it so doing the same idea here with the glaze adding it in and then wiping it back just reveals more of the detail in the casting
using a chip brush to remove some of that glaze and then wiping it back helps to remove some of it where it is set into the details a little bit more. I used a lighter green metallic paint on this one just to highlight it and even dry brush some of the frame and it really made the, the details pop even more. of the metallics and the paint and the molds was amazing. I loved how these turned out and I'd love to see your projects as well. Try this specimens mold and if you haven't already, like and subscribe my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day and happy creating.